dear friends in this video lecture we are going to talk about the atmospheric pressure absolute pressure and pressure gauge here we start with atmospheric pressure we know that everything on the earth is surrounded by an atmosphere the major constituent of atmosphere is air air consists of gases like nitrogen hydrogen carbon dioxide carbon monoxide and dust particle with water vapor the air close to the earth exert pressure on the earth surface that is called as atmospheric pressure this atmospheric pressure plays very important role in day to day life atmospheric pressure at the sea level on the earth is supposed to be the normal atmospheric pressure let us consider i got a this box the atmospheric pressure is from all sides let this is the upper side of the box which one is rectangular this is the lower side of the box it is also rectangular now from the surface of the box to a height up to which there is a presence of atmosphere there is a air column this air column used to exert pressure on the surface of the top of the box this is atmospheric pressure as we go from the surface to the height the density goes on decreasing and because of that there is decrease in atmospheric pressure above a height of 8 km or 10 km the density of air is negligibly small therefore we used to say that the atmosphere is where very rare about 8 km or more than that atmospheric pressure is the pressure exerted by air on the surface and it decreases as we go to the higher height that is at altitudes this is the column of air exerting atmospheric pressure on the surface this is the force exerted by the air on the surface normal atmospheric pressure on the sea level is 1.013 into 10 to the power 5 pascal and we approximately take it as 10 to the power 5 
न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वायर और पास्कल नो हियर आफ्टर वी विल से वट इज द अब्सोल्यूट प्रेशर फॉर दैट वी विल कंसिडर दिस फिगर लेट एस कंसिडर a container filled with a liquid this is the cylindrical column of a liquid inside the liquid let the bottom of the liquid is at a distance x2 from the reference line and top is at a distance x1 from reference line the distances are measured from upward direction therefore x1 minus x2 will give the height of the liquid column then if capital a is the area of cross sectional area of this liquid column the force exerted by the liquid on the cross sectional area in a downward direction let it is equal to f1 the force is exerted in all direction therefore the force exerted by liquid below the column in upward direction is equal to f2 this liquid column consist of a liquid whose weight is m into g which acts in a vertically downward direction for equilibrium i will write this f2 is equal to f1 plus mg the forces in downward direction is equal to forces in upward direction therefore this f2 equal to pressure at the bottom p2 into area it is p1 into area plus density into volume into acceleration due to gravity density into volume is the mass of the liquid in the cylinder now i will write this as p2a is equal to p1a plus density a into h this is the volume of liquid inside the liquid column and cancelling a from both sides you will get p2 is equal to p1 plus rho into h into g this is pressure at x2 which is p2 is equal to pressure at x1 which is p1 plus the pressure exerted by liquid column rho h g in this case if i consider the liquid column start from the surface itself in that case the pressure on the upper side is the up atmospheric pressure pressure atmospheric pressure acts on the surface of the liquid let the height of the liquid column is equal to h then the pressure at the bottom surface is p then we will write what this p equal to with this analogy the pressure at the bottom is equal to the pressure at the top p0 plus rho into h into g this is 
the absolute pressure. P0 is the atmospheric pressure. P0 is the atmospheric pressure and rho hg is the pressure exerted by liquid column. The difference of the pressure and the atmospheric pressure is rho hg. This difference of atmospheric pressure and the pressure at a given region is called as the pressure gauge. And this pressure gauge P minus P0 depends on the height. This pressure gauge is used to determine the pressure at the altitudes of air. It also used to determine the pressure of liquid at the depth. In order to determine the pressure of liquid at a depth and in order to determine the pressure of atmosphere at the altitude, we make use of this formula that is the pressure at a point or at a given region minus the atmospheric pressure is equal to rho into h into g where h is altitude when we go for the heights and h is the depth when we go below the sea level. This is all about how to determine the absolute pressure, pressure gauge and what do we mean by atmospheric pressure. Thank you very much.